where you have to qualify, right? Qualify? Yeah, qualify, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or sight in, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, qualify, Shoot qualify, yeah. We go so, if you, so if you miss, Shane, you ain't worth a damn. Yeah, He's, this is just to keep us honest so that we yeah. can't say we missed because of the gun. <laughs> very true, very true, yeah. A 308, how far? So we can, we can start off with 100 on paper, and then you can shoot at 200 gun, because over here, to shoot anything past 200 is, is, is very rarely that's going to happen, to be honest. So we're just waiting for these guys just to quickly grab um, some tape there and just uh, fix that uh, target for us, and then we can go ahead. Littleton is the brand? L Littleton Musgrave was, was actually a company in Bloemfontein that produced these Littleton Musgraves. And, um, they produced them for the military and for Bisley competition shooting. So this was actually my dad's second competition rifle. Really? Yeah. And he gave it to me when I turned 30. So yeah, cool. it was, it had uh, peep sights and all that. Oh, so it did? yeah, oh. so it, oh, I took off all the peep sights and put on a scope and whatnot. So, so Shane, you know the deal. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start off with the targets here on, on, the, on the 100 meters. We're just going to start in rifle. So, um, it's at 10 power now, but 10 power is going to be too heavy for the bush, but I'll always dial it back to the minimum power. But if we keep it on 10 and we have to shoot out some distances, then, then we're always ready. Then we always know where, what the gun is doing at longer distances. Right. Yeah, just going to have a look. And 100, 200 to zero. Yeah. It's perfect. Good shooting, man. So you can take a poke at that 200 if you want, or you can just pass the gun to the next guy. I did not hold Touching, that. The, other Touching the other one, perfect. Oh, it is? Yeah, good shooting, oh. good job. I was afraid I didn't hold it tight enough to end my shoulder. No, it's perfect. It's okay. touching the other one. Good job. Okay. Same area, but right above it. Yeah. That's a peel shot. Oh yeah, for sure. It's awesome. That's, That's the first time shooting a suppressed rifle. It's really neat. Yeah, I've never shot one like that either. Yeah. No right recoil up. at all. Uh -oh. It shoots smooth. Neat. Not much different than in the state, so. It'll be fun to look at an animal through that scope and pull that trigger. <laughs> so everyone enjoy the shooting range. The guns of gun is 100% yeah. fine. So what we're gonna do now is I think we let's start on more on the, on the southeastern side of the property and see if we can maybe find a blue wildebeest or a gamesbuck or even a zebra. Okay. And then we'll hunt until dark and then we'll have some beers. <laughs> Sounds good? Good. Perfect. Let's roll. <laughs> Switch and restore it back. Yeah. It's a wow. 
white springbok, but let's give him a chance. If we get off now, he's gonna run. Spring mark one, us zero. That's pretty much what happened. Yeah. No, they're very skittish. Yeah, they, I see that. yeah. So they they're not very forgiving animals to be honest, especially if you're on foot. Very flighty. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, so we saw a couple of very nice white spring bucks. So we jumped off the, the vehicle and start you know stalking them, and then the copper one busted us really. They took off and then we ran into a whole group of place park and then the rest is history. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> that triggers. Hair trigger, isn't it? Yeah. I just barely got it on him. I, I barely touched it and it went off. <laughs> I thought but I seen him go down. I thought that's what happened. I just barely got it in my sight. But then when it turned, I was just ready to do it. And I just barely touched the trigger and it went. 
<laughs> and I heard the thump and I seen him go for it. I thought, man, I just missed him. Isn't that the cool thing about the silencers? That thud, you hear that impact. Oh yeah, impact. You hear that body yeah, pop. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, cool. Let's go and have a look. So the third time lucky on these guys. Yeah, yeah. I was lucky the, there. The first, uh, the first two times we bumped them and the third time is yeah. down. Dave, well done, sir. It's a nice this, one. This is a beautiful, yes, beautiful man. white springbok. Yeah, beautiful. And to open a hunt like this with a springbok this white uh -huh. and a set of horns like this, Really good, I like those horns. really good job. Like I said earlier, like I said earlier, you know, um, uh, third time lucky. We bumped him twice, and then the third time is down. Yeah. So uh, I'm tracking for a while. Yeah. I'm, I'm really happy it worked out for you in that in that it's sense. A yeah. <laughs> beautiful. And the one I wanted. Well, Dave, this is a really beautiful white uh, springbok, and everyone in South Africa that knows white springbok then I can tell you this is a really nice white stream rock. Pure and white, nothing really odd colored or anything like that. It's got beautiful horns, nice mature male, doesn't have any teeth in his mouth left. So this yeah. is the best trophy animal that you can shoot. So well done for shooting it, yeah, bringing it down it. at 150. Yeah. It's a small target, but- yeah, A uh, small from the target after we're tracking about three or four times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got within 140, got the shot. Perfect, the shot, yeah. yeah. He busted us uh, a couple of times, but yeah. in the end we, yeah. <laughs> we came out strong. He yeah, we had a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> well done, man. Yeah, That's it was really awesome. Good. Yeah, thanks. I had a good day. But these males, these older males, they they, they have a sink gland on their backs. Oh yeah. And uh, you see that yellow uh, stuff? You yeah. can you can have a sniff there. No, it's like a white tail, huh? Yeah, but like white tails are farther down. Yeah, but you can you can have a have a have a smell and let me know what it tastes smell like. You have to stick your nose in there. <laughs> That is a weird smell, kind of like coffee. Coffee? Yeah, that's what I get. Okay. I don't know what you get. It, yeah, for, for us, it's usually a, a mix between cotton candy. Well, yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, cotton candy, very sweet. You want to yeah. have a smell, uh, Amanda? Yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't have a lot of those. Uh, yeah, here we go. Huh. Very sweet, right? Yeah. I think, it's, I think it's already five o'clock or so. I think we've done good for the, for, the, for the first afternoon. So let's take a long drive and if we see something really nice, we go for it. But let's make our way back to the lodge, you know, on the on a, at least the traveled roads and see what we find. Cool, awesome. Today is uh, February 14th. Um, we just arrived today at, uh, with White Lion Safari here in Kimberley. But we started our adventure Saturday, uh, February 11th. We left Bakersfield and uh, we traveled. Flew to Phoenix. Flew to Phoenix International. And then, and then we a nine hour flight to London. London. And there we had um, a nice layover a tour of London. Eleven hour layover yeah. around London, Got to seen some sights. Seen some sights, seen the history of London. And then we arrived in Johannesburg yesterday. And got to stay one night at Africa Sky Lodge there and tour of Johannesburg. And then flew into Kimberley today. So it's been a nice three day adventure to get here. We flew into Kimberley with white line safaris. Yep. We had a nice lunch here at the lodge. And then we went out for yeah. an evening hunt. Mm -hmm. And it just so happens, Dave got the first animal. Put a stock on a white spring buck, a little trophy, nice horns on it. Chased him around for a while. 
I ended up winning. Yeah. It's a great first day here. Yeah. Very so many more days of adventures to go. And right now we've been sitting here looking out across oh, yeah. the view and seeing all kinds of different animals. Zebras and hartebeest and kudu, ginsbok. Lots of animals. Having a great time. Looking forward to the rest of the week. Yes. Just want to thank the people at the lodge. Our cook. They're they're the great. You couldn't ask for any better. Yeah. This is a very very good lodge. Got, I'd recommend it to anybody. We got seven more days of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is only beginning. Yeah, we ain't done yet. <laughs> there ain't no telling what we're gonna kill before it's over with. <laughs> <clears throat> Best man for the Greg? No, that's right. Me. You know, thank you for one of the day. Thank you for keeping us safe here and also bringing our friends here safely. Uh, thank you for the beautiful animal we, we were able to harvest and uh, uh, this is sweet we're about to have. We just have to prepare. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Very good. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. A special day all around. I was going to ask you that next day. This is our first full day and uh, it's, it's 6.30 in the morning. We're going to head out for a morning hunt before it gets too hot. It's still, it's February in South Africa, so it's still quite hot. Mm -hmm. And um, we spotted, you know, from up here we can see all kinds of animals. So I guess we're going to jump in the truck and then um, we can head down and then see if we can find something to shoot. And I think um, we're all ready for it. Yep. Ready. All right, perfect. Um, so we spotted a couple of game spots so we can sit out and see you know, on foot and see what, um, what they look like and if there aren't any good ones in the group we'll move a little bit more to the southern side and see if we can find some impalas for Amanda. Yes, yeah. Already yeah, so yeah, let's get going.
That's the first time ever. That's the dog. <laughs> they were stalking hard to base. It's like 40 yards away. And Rigby decided to cough up a, fair, a hairball and spooked everything. So, <clears throat> I guess you're staying at the truck next time. Take a siesta. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So that big tree over there, that's kind of my little mark landmark. So the wind is absolutely terrible. So let's just stick with the road and then kind of just do a big horseshoe around and see if into the wind. Oh, we are hunting in Bala. <laughs> yeah. It sucks because we spend a lot of time after him.
先别。啊，慢着，快点，快点，快点，快点，快点，准备个那。Shoot him for, that, for, that, for those trees, for those limbs. On his shoulder. That's the big one? Yeah. Got him. Ooh, down. Reload. Another one. Stay on him. Shane, you're an absolute beast. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. Just be ready. It gets a bit, a bit closer. Chain, an absolute beaut, a monster of a blue. Thank you. Well done. Great shooting, though. I, I know you didn't have much to work with, but in the end, uh, you made you made it work. And one shot down, uh, right in his tracks. Um, I couldn't ask for a better blue for you. So this, it all worked out. And uh, I think, uh, like we said earlier on, we we went on a three-hour Impala stalk yeah. and end up shooting a blue. <laughs> it definitely worked for him. Yeah. <laughs> And I guess that's the, that's the beauty of Africa because you just never know what you're gonna find, right? Yeah. But once again, man, congratulations! You can see all the all the character on the bosses here. Yeah. Nice and old, beautiful dark black head, nice curls, and obviously the stripes on this thing is absolutely crazy. Yeah, really, really, really beautiful. That many stripes. Yeah. Well, usually they kind of you know right over here, kind of that's where they stop. But this one is just runs all the way through, all the way from its neck to its ass. Uh, Shane, yeah, so uh, we're sitting by your blue wildebeest, an absolutely beautiful blue wildebeest if you just look at this, the colors on it, the beautiful stripes uh, and, and also, you know, the nice set of horns and beautiful black face. This is really, really a nice, uh, nice uh, blue wildebeest and it's the perfect one and it's yours. So on that, congratulations and it, and it worked out perfectly, like, it, like we also mentioned. We, we actually set out to, to go after Impala for Amanda and we stumbled upon two <laughs> hundreds of them, couldn't find a male, and we worked our way back after a couple of hours, you know, worked our way back to the truck, and what do you know, this guy sticks out his head, and we did a quick uh, run stalk on it. We had a couple of seconds to shoot it. Uh, wasn't the best shot in the world. Had to shoot a couple of dead twigs, but what do you know, here it is, dropped right in his tracks. It stood there just a little bit too long. Yeah, uh, great shot, great shot. Uh, once you. again, congratulations, man. Thank you. Yeah, uh, looking forward to, uh, to hunt some more trophies with you. So we just had a cool lunch or a good lunch. Uh, we also had a little bit of a nap. And um, our plans is for the afternoon is to go chase the rain, I guess. Um, a bunch of games bucks ran up this valley here earlier this morning. So we are trying to, or we're going to set out all alongside this ridge here and then kind of walk our way back to the lodge and see what we find. So, uh, and hopefully the rain doesn't catch up with us. Had to hunker down because of a storm that was coming in. We sat on the porch and watched it pass. 
now everything's kind of died down we're gonna try and go out and see if we can find us something to shoot We just left the lodge um, after a good rain and I spotted a couple of real beasts not far from the lodge and it will work perfectly for Dave. Um, Dave's going to be the man of the hour so we're going to get out of the way a little bit of the truck and then we're going to walk back and see if we can get Dave on a really nice beast. It's the second full day and uh, we're dodging rocks here with the truck but uh, um, it's uh, yeah like I said it's, uh, it's early in the morning um, nice and overcast it's a it's a, a good swap from the heat from yesterday and the day before and uh, we're gonna move more to the uh, the eastern side the western side of the property and start looking for games buck for Dave on that side and um, if we find anything else like zebra for, for Shane or an Impala we'll definitely take it but uh, I think we all are very glad for the for the cloud cover this morning yeah. 
so we spotted a nice uh, red hearted beast not far from here. So we're gonna put a stock, luckily it's a lone ball by himself, very nice ball. And I think uh, we should definitely try to go for it. So we're gonna kind of just sneak through this bush here and see if we can get, get on the hard get on the red hearted beast. <laughs> Um, so behind us is a nice little hilly mountainous valleys and whatnot. And a lot of the animals like to go hide in between those hills, you know, to cover from the wind and sun and whatnot. So we can expect to kind of see anything from Kudu, Kim's Park, Impala, Zebra as well, Mountain Reed Park. So we're gonna take we're gonna take this trail and I kind of gonna walk right on the bluff on the other side and we'll meet up with the truck again about two miles from here. Okay. Yeah, so after a really quiet morning, we managed to find a really nice impala bedded. Um, so the wind is not really in our favor, so we're kind of just gonna make a big loop back to it. And it's all by himself, so and if we can see him first, find him first, you know, I think there's a really good chance that, that you'll be taking photos in an hour.
Beautiful. That's a good time. Yeah. What a story. That was oh. close. <laughs> that was really close. Yeah. Stop. He, that front shoulder was perfectly in a V and he just kind of step one little step forward. And then we were out, really out in the open, so. Yeah. <laughs> that was close to the yeah. We moved to the side of the tree. Good job. Good job. Oh. Stalking everything. Oh. Turn right behind the shoulder. There we go. Leave him. We need a little bit of excitement, right? Yes. <laughs> Good stuff. Beautiful ram there, right? Eh? Yes. <laughs> Found an Impala, finally. <laughs> After a couple of days, huh? <laughs> and uh, he made me work for her, but that's for sure. I got a little excited. This is a nice Impala. That was an adventure. Yeah chased it uh, all through the bush here. Now she's got it. It's a beautiful animal. And she was almost in tears a second ago, so. Let's head around. Uh, look at the horns. Uh, yeah, Amanda, here we are, sitting with your beautiful Impala. This Impala's got really, really loads of character. If you look at her face and the dark skin, um, Nice, very old, nice male, um, very long and heavy. And, um, and once, once we spotted them and we set up for, uh, for uh, uh, the first shot, your first shot, and uh, mm -hmm. unfortunately that, that ended up being a really difficult shot. Um, and uh, you, you took the shot and it, um, it, it disappeared for a while and we managed to find it again and, and finally put, a, put the, dead, uh, um, you know, the right shot on his shoulder and it got, went down. And um, I can't be more happier for you for this beautiful Impala and for uh, keeping up and carrying that uh, lead wood rifle of mine uh -huh. all the way. You, you are a trooper, to be honest. But congratulations <laughs> once again for your first animal in Africa. Uh, Well-deserved animal, to be honest. And um, yeah, can't wait for, for the next one. Good job, babe. So I think uh, this morning we also had a long, long walk, right? Yeah, chasing. Two mile loop up there, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's go have lunch. It's noon, so um, I think Oti definitely uh, uh, did his part and prepared some some good lunch for us. And um, I, and, and I also hope that swimming pool is uh, filled up. Oh, yeah. and that would be awesome. Nice so cocktail too. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So yeah, let's go have lunch, guys. Today we're gonna do again chicken. Uh -huh. That's chicken rib. Obviously, it's a uh, we have chicken breast, it's fried, some some avocado, lettuce, tomato, some cheese. Mm -hmm. with, with that, we have some fries. So, mm -hmm. let's enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Also, it's delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, so we had a nice little nap, uh, rest. It's still still pretty warm. And um, we've got Hein with us today, the owner of the ranch. Um, and he's gonna show us his favorite spots where the, the biggest and the best animals uh, hangs out. So hopefully that works out for today. We'll catch up with you a bit later.
bucks. The place bucks are also coming for here, so let's see if we can cut them over again. Okay, okay. Also, inside the tree, yeah. I see. Damn, it's an old ram. His walls was worn down completely. Yeah, it's old. Lots of animals in the bush. Uh, couldn't really find anything, to be honest. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. So Dave and I set out after a bunch of place park and spring park. Um, the, the mission to find a nicer uh, ram for Dave, but unfortunately, he spent a lot of time after this place back and unfortunately no shootable ramp. That's what it is, I guess. <laughs> Oof. Dead, dead, dead. Beautiful. Good job. Come 
hard one. Yeah. You flopped that one. <laughs> you dropped. Huh? Yes. You did him good. Good I job, man. It, I had it right where you told me to put yeah, it. Yeah, good job, good job. Congrats, Thank man. Thank you. Beautiful blaze pack. Yeah. Nice, dude. Perfect shooting. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Hey? Okay. That's a good shot. Yeah. Good ass <laughs> better, huh? Yeah, that's for sure. That's a really good shot. Beautiful skin, though. Yeah? Yeah, man. Congratulations. Yeah, we definitely... Uh, <laughs> We were uh, we put the walk on them, didn't we? Oh, for sure, yeah. It took all day to do it. We went around the hill, up the hill, down the hill, find them, lose them. Finally got a stock on this one here. So, waited a little bit, tucked the shot, and got me a nice animal. Yeah, today is uh, the fourth day. A uh, beautiful day in the Northern Cape. Uh, no wind, got some cloud cover. And today we're looking for uh, zebra and gimsbuck. So, wish us luck. Looks like they're up there uh, scouting out for something to kill, see what they can find. Right now, ain't too much being found on this side, but the day's still young. It's gonna get better.
Can't find them if you don't look for them. <laughs> yeah, true. This whole morning we looked for the elusive zebras, the zebras, but uh, couldn't find any. Heard some laughing at us. Yeah, we, we <laughs> heard them in a, in a thick brush, in a thick foam brush, but uh, we couldn't get any uh, any tracks or visuals on them. So we'll definitely try in the afternoon again. But uh, yeah, we're here for lunch now, and uh, we'll take it a bit easier. Yeah, it's a cool weed. Put it on your nub. That's the only friend you got, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> he's look like he look. He just looks just like me. He's missing a leg. Yeah. Call him Stubby too. Yeah. He's missing <laughs> a little nubbin. Yeah. He's nubbin right there. <laughs> Let me put him on the tree. So we spotted a nice big group of game sparks in a thicket here in the black thorns, but it's, it's still very hot, so most of them are just bedded and it uh, makes it very difficult to kind of put a stalk on them to figure out where's the big one because it's really thick and most of them are bedded. So we're just going to leave them for, for now. Um, I don't want to spook the whole group or, or get them all crazy and run off in different directions, so at least we know where they are for a bit later, so. So we finally, finally get to see some zebras. So now you also know what they look like. Okay, so we're gonna cut through here and see if we can maybe get all of them again. seen a group of zebras from the truck across the road up here. We got out, made a big loop and tried to cut them off. We never did see them again. They are just one step ahead of us so far. We just gotta wait for them to slip up and make that mistake and then we'll get them. This is the back strip which came from the impala which Amanda shot. So we're gonna do this with some pop tart, uh, with some green peas, pepper sauce for the steak, and we have uh, also a dessert which is going to be um, Milo cheesecake. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Eh?
Today we're gonna set out and try and find some zebras. 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 And uh, Ginsbuck. Springbuck. Springbuck. A little bit of anything that we can find. Yesterday then we kind of got hunkered down a little bit early because of the storm. It's been raining all night and clear this morning, so hopefully it has stuff up and moving around. Everything's nice and fresh today. I think our best option now is to, we spotted the zebras down here in this thick stuff. The tracks are going just behind us and it rained last night so to follow the tracks is going to be easier than, than other days. So we're going to make use of Shane the tracker and uh, our nifty hunting skills. Two hours and nine minutes ago on on zebra tracks so we end up walking all the street just behind us really rough walking to be honest and then we couldn't find them at all so now we're down at the bottom again uh, 3.2 kilometers further so now we're just taking a rest and then we can uh, make it continue on our zebra hunt okay we just had some lunch uh, we've been chasing zebra around the whole morning and um on the zebra mission we spotted a nice game spot way down in the southwestern corner so quickly gonna head out to the same spot and see if he's still there and if he is then uh, they're definitely gonna shoot it
but that baby is probably, I would say, a month, maybe a month old. Um, they, they will form a bachelor group, like a nursery of some kind, where the females will be around other ones with little, little ones. That, that is a solid shot, eh? Oh, yeah, I heard it. Oh. Holy smokes. Good job, man. Thank you. I'd, yeah, I'd been waiting for that all <laughs> week. As big as some bitch. Can't wait to see it. Yeah, let's go. Really cool, man. Yeah. Really, really, really cool. He looks heavy. Yeah. Yeah, he's nice. Yeah, real heavy at the bottom. You can see there's an old guy if you look at the second growth here. Uh -huh. Crazy second growth. Almost almost completely smooth here. Uh, Dave, we've been chasing these game sparks around since day one. Yeah. And they've been eluding us ever since. And um, and like I said this morning to, to Shane, if we don't find anything today, I'm going to go on a hunger strike. <laughs> and that's the worst thing you can do to yeah. me. So, um, I seen you eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm super happy that we managed to find this guy. Just, I think it was just after six or so in the evening. Uh, he was just grazing along, didn't know much what's going on. He did a great job of doing uh, or shooting, you know, uh, right on the shoulder, right on the money, and uh, make quick work um, of the whole thing. So, yeah. great shooting, good shooting. And um, I'm also very happy for you for this beautiful oh, Game Spark ball. Perfect trophy to have, nice and thick bases. All dudes um, will definitely look good in your house. Oh, yeah. Well done once again. Thank you. Awesome.
Good morning, so today is the 19th, 19th of February and it's also Shane's birthday. So once again, congratulations Shane. Yeah, and so um, it's kind of a nice morning, uh, not too bad, it's nice and cool. So we are on a mission to look for Shane's zebra. So I guess that's what we're gonna do today. So they've been um, uh, eluding us for quite some time. So hopefully we, for Shane's birthday, we can, uh, we can give him a nice zebra. Just aim for his head. You got him. Oh, aim for his head? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Jane? <laughs> yeah, man. And the curse yeah. of the baboons. Curse of the baboon. That was a big male, though, for sure. Um, but uh, I think uh, I couldn't range it, you know, com you know, to get a good range on it. Because uh, I was, uh, there was a little bit of movement on the back. So I was also, in a, you know, you have to rush these shots. And um, I'm guessing it was around 400 meters, to be honest. Yeah. So uh, I think your shot, that obviously you can hear loud and clear, it was a real solid fight. I think uh, when I had the it was a little bit lower. Uh, yeah, and I uh, obviously fell jump off the, off the fence and ran off into the wild. But uh, some rancher will be happy that you did it because yeah. <laughs> you took care of one of the problems here in this area. Well, I wasn't gonna, I didn't oh know you were gonna God. pull the trigger there. Uh, <laughs> no. It looked like it dropped. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I know you did. Here you go, I let it rip. Just below this point. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations, man. Yeah, it's actually a very nice one. There you go. Beautiful spin mark, yeah. It looks actually pretty good. Yeah. Beautiful skin, nice. Yeah. Uh, Dave, um, almost on the last day. Yeah, <laughs> almost. Been, been chasing these uh, uh, common spring bucks around. They can be flighty and have got very good eyesight. Then. And uh, today um, it was our turn. And uh, you made a, we made a good little stalk on them. They were busy feeding and grazing and this guy was chasing the females. 
um, not knowing of anything that was going on no. around him. But that's so typical, isn't it? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, that's what it's been all week. Yeah. Yeah. So, but at the end of the day, managed to put a good, put a good shot on him. Thank you. Um, yeah, here we are taking photos yeah. and congratulations. Thank Definitely you. beautiful skin though. Yeah. You know, if you yeah. look at the skin here. Um, good on. Yeah. I think they do really make good rugs and so on. Right. Yeah, so it's late afternoon and um, we're gonna go get out and uh, see if we can find you a nice little steam ram. They like, in the, like to go out and they like to feed in the evenings, you know, when everything quiets down and, and it's a lot a bit cooler. So if you see a, if you see a female, there will be a male in the area also. So like, they're very quick on and very flighty, so you won't have a lot of time to, to, to do this, but um, we'll see if we can get you a nice big one. Picture the 41 facing the turn around. Oh, 
put it on. Because your mom always does it. You don't know how to do this. <laughs> 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 there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, That's it. it. Yeah. That's your piece. That's yours. That's yours. That's yours. Uh, so uh, we're gonna last day, last full day, and um, we're gonna head out to a different ranch close to Kimberley. Beautiful ranch, um, nice wide open spaces, and uh, we're gonna look for a zebra or um, and warthog. That uh, that area has got really nice warthog. So I'm excited for you to, <laughs> to shoot a nice big old uh, banana nose. Um, those, yeah, those big ones. Yeah. Looks like bananas sticking out of their mouth. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, and hopefully we'll get a really nice zebra for you to bring all the way back. We've got a couple of zebras with Gemsbach on the other side of this thicket. So we're going to see, they're walking to the left to right. So we're going to cut through here and see if we can ambush them or cut them off, you know. But uh, the wind also sucks, so we'll see what we can, uh, can do. Stay low behind these bushes, okay? this gap but there's one zebra standing in the gap looking that way so we have to be very low as low as possible Shoulder. You see this bunch of zebra standing. 
to the left. Triangle, just to it. that's it. Beautiful. Yeah, it looked like a good shot. Was just behind that triangle. Yep. Perfect. Let's see. Oh yeah, it yeah. took it real good. Nice. Dude, oh, well, no. well, freaking yeah. done. <gasps> nice double long one. Oh yeah, perfect, man. You see that triangle? What I was talking. Yeah. Perfect, man. Good stuff. Ooh. Yeah, beautiful stallion, though. Oh, beautiful. No bite marks or any weird marks on his skin. Good job, man. I'm super happy for you. <laughs> super happy. It's beautiful zebra as well. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> now, Shane. Yeah, it's been it's been a long uh, a long track for zebras. And uh, we moved from one location to the other, and we're still in a beautiful Northern Cape. Um, yeah, we've been we've been tracking these guys for a couple of kilometers this past week, and uh, and we left it for the last day <laughs> to yeah. come out to over to another property and to, to shoot this beautiful stallion. This is a beautiful stallion, nice clean skin, no marks, definitely and good. definitely will make a very nice trophy. Once again. Good shooting as always. Yes, I'm, I'm super happy. You, yeah, yeah, for sure. I think uh, you, you, you guys are the whole group. I guess will, will made uh, made my life uh, really easy. Just uh, no tracking wounded animals, anything like that. And um, yeah, we've been testing out the new Honor DCX bullets, uh, 165 uh, for 308, and um, they are definitely. Definitely something that definitely I'll use in the, the job done. Oh, for sure. Definitely something I'll use in the future. Uh, from the White Lion team and the rest and African Sun Productions, I uh, want to say thank you and um, good job. Good job of all the animals. Um, yeah, I think you guys did really excellent, really good. And from us to you, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Cool. Thank Once you again, man. For everybody behind the scenes and everything else, there's a lot that goes into it. Yeah, for sure. Once again. All right, cool. taking back the zebra to the skinning shed and then we are going to find a pig or a stem buck and uh, yeah find something find something to shoot we're not done yet that's your fun fact it's of the day right it's working that's that's a good example of a working windmill you What's see that a, what huh? is a non-working one look like it, it, it doesn't it doesn't uh, it doesn't produce any water. Oh. Okay. Yeah. This, this, you see on the bottom that wet stuff right there. That's a good indication that a windmill is working properly, oh. and it has to leak also always. If they don't leak, then they're yeah. Properly yeah. Exactly. And if 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 that thing if that blade stands still, it means there's no wind at they all. They also have to squeak, right? They, every, every single one of them. Every single one of them. Yeah. Sitting here at the watering hole um, for warthogs. Let's see if they might come in. It's a bit windy, so we'll see. We'll give it a couple of hours.
Yeah, so we're finishing, we're finished basically on this ranch. Unfortunately, we didn't get any pigs. Uh, uh, we did see a lot of pigs, but only sows and little ones. Um, didn't see the daddies. So uh, we still have a long drive back home, so we're gonna head back to the skidding shed and load up uh, Shane's ze uh, zebra, zebra, and then uh, we're gonna head back to Clearwater. See you guys on the other side. Yeah, last day, um, luckily Shane, Shane's flight is only um, leaving at past five. So we've got this whole morning to look for a steam buck or something different. And um, yeah, we're gonna do a quick drive and then we can come back for a nice, for a nice brunch. And um, hopefully we are, we are successful. It's not the biggest one in the world, um, but it's a decent, nice one for for a trophy. You can shoot it if you yeah, want. Take it. So it's facing me. Yeah. So, so put it right. So you have to shoot through the brush. Yep, and Just I'm on it right now. All right, you better. Shit. We're <laughs> trying to trying to get the mando on a, the elusive little steam box, and we found him last little mail. Uh, he was bedded. I think what he did uh, in that fixed stuff, he laid down. That's also what I do. And um, and I think the wind, the wind kind of caught up with us, and then he that really took off. Uh, but let's see. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, um, the hunt, been here for about a week. It was very, very wonderful. Uh, I can't thank uh, the Lodge enough for what we've done and our guide, the camera in behind the crew, the cooks, everything, they've been wonderful. It's been a lovely uh, adventure. I'd like to do it again. Yeah, clear water safaris, uh, white lion safaris, and African Sun Productions. Uh, Horned ammo. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Ammo. Yeah. 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 So they put those, everything on the ground. Yeah. So, yeah. All those animals. Yeah. So kind of a collaborative effort on everybody's behalf. All the behind the scenes, the cooks, the the trackers, the skinners, the 
uh, everybody involved. And thank you to everyone. It was a, definitely an experience of a lifetime. Great accommodations, great food, everything. Yeah. And uh, from our side, from the White Lion side, um, I want to say thank you to you guys. This whole safari business uh, won't, won't, be, won't be able if it weren't for you guys, you know, spinning your hard earned cash in, in Africa and with us. And uh, yeah, so I'm really stoked and happy that you guys got what you wanted. And um, yeah, that you also enjoyed it and so on. Yes, and we're looking forward to see you guys again. Yes, sir. In, in the future, future yeah. for sure. And the best thing is, is we made a new family. Yes. There we go. There we go. Best reason to come travel yeah. out of the United States <laughs> exactly. to come yeah. to South Africa. It's always bittersweet at the end of the hunt, but yeah. you know, whenever that you make friendships and stay in communication with them and stuff then yeah just you know, hate to say goodbye yeah <laughs> yeah there we go it's not goodbye it's no see you exactly. next time see you, <laughs> see, see see you, you next time, time. Yeah. exactly yeah. and uh all of the best of the flights back man yes, uh, yes, i hope it, i hope it is uh, a safe one though Yes. Yes. And thank you guys for everything. Thank you. Yes. It was great meeting Definitely. you guys, and, and thank yes. you for the hospitality. Hi. Yes. Thank, thank you. Bye bye. Hopefully, see you soon. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Again soon. Not goodbye. Yeah. Yes. Not goodbye. See you soon. For another day. Yeah. <laughs>